package bearings now first thing what are or what is bearings bearings basically it is an angle measurement right it is an angle measurement now when we talk about angle measurement obviously we need to define its direction whether it is a clockwise or it is a anti clockwise right so bearing is angle measurement in a clockwise direction always you can't measure bearings in anti clockwise so bearing is an angle measurement and we measure in clockwise direction now the starting point we start it from the north so you can say that it always measures from north right while during bearings all of you must aware of the compass or scale right we have north south west east right so bearing always starts from the north in a clockwise direction and it is an angle measurement now whenever it says find the bearing of a from b keep in mind whatever the letter is after the word from you need to make a scale on that point right or you can say that in this scenario the north of b is very important as you will start from here from b to a you are going to measure your angle right after that while during doing bearings you have a good concept of alternate angles right i will explain it to you as well but you have a good concept of alternate angles because we are going we are repeatedly using it in bearings you must know that answer of bearing it must be in three digit always let suppose if your answer is 86 degrees of bearing so you will write it 086 degree so that is the rule to define the bearing that it must be always in 086 but let suppose if your angle is 272 now it is already in 3 degree 3 digits so no need to write or no need to add 0 at the beginning now the question arises that why we study bearings what is the application the major of application of bearings used in airplanes and ships right now consider the scenario let's suppose that this is a sea right and ship is here so how can the pilot determine that in which direction he should lead so he can set his direction with the help of bearings so the greatest application of bearings are airplanes and ships right so these are the important rules of a bearings before starting bearings i'm going to explain you alternate angles because we are going to use it in our topic now for alternate angles keep in mind that you have a li parallel lines right so what are parallel lines those lines which can never be meet are called parallel lines right so there is an example of parallel lines now if a line cuts if a single line cut these two parallel lines then we say that this angle and this angle they are equal and we refer that angle as alternate angles right alternate angles either the lines are horizontal or the lines are vertical concept remains same this angle and this angle are same in a case of parallel lines 
so keep in mind that alternate angles exist only where there are parallel lines if the lines are not parallel you cannot conclude that the angles are alternate so first thing you must be clear regarding the parallel lines right now the second important thing i am going to write it down second important thing that was first one the concept of parallel lines that is first one now the second one the second one is let's suppose you you have a scale right north south west east the angles the angles are so let's say that this it is your north right north south west east that is very important explanation so listen carefully if you are traveling from north till east that means you covered an angle of 90 degree so in first quadrant we have an angle of 90 degree if you are traveling from north till south north till south keep in mind that we have always move in clockwise direction in bearings so this angle is 180 degree right the third one if you are traveling from north till west always in a clockwise direction then you have covered 270 degree and the last one if you travel from north and cover the whole circle so it will be 360 degree these four quadrants are very important these two things which i have explained these are the backbone of the topic bearings if you have a good understanding of these two properties trust me you will uh, this topic will be easy for you now all the points you should note it down right i am going to give you some examples so that you have an idea how we going to solve bearings right so let's suppose example uh i have a point a right and there is a point b there is a point c and we are at north of a right now let's suppose this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 50 degrees question says find bearing of b from a part to c from a right so come back to the rules of bearings it says a from b means scale must be at b the word written after the word from so if it says b from a or c from a that means we need to take the north of a the north of a is already highlighted in the question right that is the north of a that means we need to travel from this point until we reach the line b so if i am going from this point till this line how many degrees i have covered it's very simple that i have covered 30 degrees right and we know that bearing always right in three digits so it will be 030 degree that is your first part answer right so bearing is what bearing is an angle measurement when we talk about angle measurement we need a direction the direction is clockwise after that we need a starting point the starting point is north so we measure the direction we measure the angle in a clockwise direction starts from north that is called bearing right now then second part c from a so i am going to travel from the north of a until the line ac right so i am standing at this point this one right i am starting travel till this point i have covered 90 degree as discussed here right from north till east i have covered 90 degree that means from the north till this line i have covered 90 degree did i reach the line c no 
because for that purpose i need to travel 50 degree more then i will reach c so how many degrees i had covered at first i had covered 90 degrees after that i had covered 50 degrees to reach my destination that is line c so total i had covered 140 degree now this 140 is already in three digits no need to add zero at the beginning that is our answer right moving on to some more examples now keep in mind in short and in easiest way bearing is what you need to cover a distance but in terms of angles that is very important now i'm going to write it down you need to cover distance in terms of angle that is bearing is all about okay so moving to the next example okay so let's suppose this is point p and in this part i'm going to draw four lines 1 2 3 and i'm going to label them q r s t and the angles i will take 20 20 20 and then 20 right so now there are four parts it says find bearing part 1 q from p part 2 r from p part 3 s from p and part 4 t from p so there are four parts four lines right so we need to find the bearing of each individual line at first point now step by step at first point we need to highlight the north of p because in every case the word p is written after the word from right so first thing highlight the north i am going to highlight the north of p so that is the north of p first step done right now the second one second one is what distance one right so you need to travel from the north of p till the point q now uh, it is very important it is very beneficial for you if you highlight the angle in your figure right so from the north of p this point you can pick any point it's up to you right from the north of p i am going to travel till i reach the line q like here right so at this point i reach the line q but what degree did i cover now we know that this angle is 90 right so we need to subtract 20 from 90 so for first part working will be 90 minus 20 that is equals to 70 but it is not our final answer we need to add zero at the beginning that is our final answer 070 degrees listen again we what we were looking for we were looking for an angle from where to where from the north of p till the line q this angle is what we are looking for we know that if we travel from north till east we covered angle of 90 so this angle 20 is given if we subtract this angle from 90 we can get this angle right okay for part 
it says r from p now again what you guys need to do first the starting point i am going to do it with a blue pen so starting point at p let suppose i say that this is my starting point from the north of p until i reach the line r so i am going to start my journey from here from here till this point i had covered 90 right if i continue my journey until i reach this line this one until i reach this one basically that is the south right so i started my journey from the north and covered the angle of 180 degree but then i realized i have come across the line r right i need to stop there i had covered the 20 degree extra right my journey should be finished till here right from the north till here that is my journey and i had covered 20 degree extra but no problem we know that if we travel from north till south it will be 180 degree right so 180 is a total and we had covered 20 degree extra so if we subtract 20 from 180 we will get our final bearings that is 160 degree now 160 is which angle from the north until you meet the line r that is the angle 160 degree i hope that it clears in your mind a little bit if you say that 10% is clear it is quite enough for me moving forward now it says s from p at first ask yourself a question what should be the first step the first step is you need to highlight the point at the north of p i am going to do the same so this time i am going to use red pen from the north of p i pick or i highlighted the point till p i need to travel to s but in a clockwise direction keep in mind so north till s till now i had covered 90 right moving on till now i had covered 180 but that is not my destination because i wanted to go and meet at point s line s right so i need to move further after that after the coverage of 20 degree finally i reach the line s so in terms of degree how much angle i had covered i know that from north till south the angle is 180 right so i am going to write it down from north till south the angle is 180 degree and i need an extra 20 to reach the point s for extra i need to add 20 and it will be 200 degree it's also a three digit no need to add zero at the beginning right the last one t from p so this time i am going to use black pen yes so from the north i need to travel from north till the line t that's mean i need to travel this whole journey right keep in mind always move in a clockwise direction right so i'm starting my journey from the north till this point i had covered 90 after that i had covered 180 moving on i had covered 270 and moving on i had covered 360 but what i realized that i had covered 20 degree extra so if from 360 degree i subtract this 20 part so that will be my bearing that i was looking for right so it will be for last part 360 minus 20 it will be 340 degree right so that's how we measure 
bearings i hope that now you have a little bit idea how to find bearings right moving on one more example but this time make sure that you attempt it first let me draw the question for you and this time uh, there will be eight parts similar question like the previous one but a little bit modification after the fourth part so first part fourth part are same uh, i'm going to label it it's o the origin point a point b point c and point d also i'm going to label this one north south west and east now the question is oh, for first angles so i am going to give you the angles 30 30 30 right now questions find bearing of first part a from o second part b from o third part c from o and fourth part d from o these four parts you need to try first i am not saying that you got the correct answer i am saying that you need to try first okay so stop the video right now and try it by yourself take your time if you are taking 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes no problem it is just the beginning but try it by yourself first so the solution will be first step always highlight the unknown angle in first part if it says a from o so i am talking about the north of o that is mentioned i am going to share it with the yellow yes so highlight it the north of o now highlight the unknown angle from the north till the line a that means we are talking about this angle right this angle this angle is our bearing that is unknown you know that from north till east we covered an angle of 30 and sorry 90 degree right if i subtract 30 degree from this whole angle of 90 degree i can get this green angle right so first answer 90 Minus thirty, it is sixty, but it must be in three digits. So that is your first part answer. I hope that mostly of you have attempted first part, and I hope that all of you have done it right. Next part, B from O, the same strategy. The starting point is north of O till the point B. So first thing I am going to highlight the unknown angle. This angle is unknown, right? Okay. How we are going to find? I am going to use this 30 angle. How? Let's suppose I was traveling to my friend. I was standing at north, and I was driving the car, right? driving the car i had covered an angle of 90 degree driving 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 and i will reach at this point and then i realize that i came at the wrong position or you can say that i covered an extra distance right so what i will do i will go backwards or reverse my car right so at first what i did i covered an angle of 180 degree and then i realized that i had covered 30 degrees 
extra if i subtract these 30 degree i can reach this point that is my goal so 180 minus 30 it's 150 degree and that is our answer since it's already in three digits that's why no need to add zero in the beginning so that is part two answer right moving on to the third part it says c from o c from o again the same strategy right the first point remains same that you need to highlight the angle right so starting from the north until the line c so let's travel from the line did i reach the point c no no yes but the same scenario let's suppose i was listening the music and i got you know distracted and instead of reaching there i reach there so i know that from north till west it's an angle of 270 right it's an angle of 270 and i can subtract 30 from 270 like we did in our last part that was extra one so the bearing is 240 degree right and this 40 is basically from north till the line c the one we are looking for right now the last part in your last part again the same scenario starting from the north driving my car and covers 90 covers 180 covers 270 and now i need an extra 30 degree to reach the point d so it will be 270 plus 30 degree that is 300 degree so these four parts i hope that now these four parts are clear to you right now i'm not going to explain further in this diagram so i'm going to make another one now the second step let's suppose that this is point p it's a north of p and that is line q and we have an angle of 30 degree now there are two parts in this question first find bearing of the first part is q sorry p from q and the second one is q from p right so there are two parts of the same question now there is a difference the one i have explained you uh, this one there is a difference of this point keep in mind that whatever writ, uh, word written after the word from you need to plot the scale on this point right now come back to our question find the bearing of q from p if it says q from p then we are talking about the north of p and north of p is highlighted so it is very simple we are looking for this angle we know that this angle is 90 so it will be very simple 90 minus 30 that is 60 and we will write 0 6 0 but the problem is what about this one it says p from q is there any north of q present here no for that reason you need to plot the north on this point you need to plot it right so now i have plotted the north of q the first condition the word after the written after the word from we need to take north of this point right after the north second step highlight the unknown angle now we are looking for angle which starts from the north of q and ends on that line that connects p and q this angle that is our angle theta what we are looking for right and the third step now i'm going to write it down step one 
मेक नॉर्थ स्टेप टू हाईलाइट योर एंगल हाईलाइट अनोन एंगल एंड स्टेप थ्री दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आइडेंटिफाई ऑल्टरनेट एंगल्स आइडेंटिफाई ऑल्टरनेट एंगल नाउ कीप इन माइंड वेन यू हैव मोर देन वन नॉर्थ दे ऑल आर पैरल दे ऑल आर पैरल ऑलवेज ऑल स्केल्स आर पैरल टू वन एन अदर ऑल स्केल स्केल मीन्स आई कंपस ऑल स्केल्स आर पैरल टू वन एन अदर Right, all scales are parallel to one another. So, what you guys need to do now, you need to find the alternate angle. Now, I am going to highlight the Z. Right, that is my Z. Z indicates that if this angle is thirty, then this angle will always be thirty. that is the property of alternate angles and step number 4 find your bearings right so your bearing is what starting with the north right 90 180 270 till here and then you need to subtract 30 so it will be 270 minus 30 is equals to 240 degrees. Now these points where you need to apply, these point applies where you go north. Like this question, we draw north here, right? That's why we need to apply these four steps. In part two, we didn't draw the north. so that's why there in this part there is no concept of alternate angles so whenever you go the north keep in mind that now you need to follow all these four steps right i hope that all of you have noted the lecture till now now we are going to start some of the book questions in your book question number 1 you need to try it by yourself it's exercise 9b question number 1 you need to try it by yourself the same example i had covered above so starting with question number 2 so question number 2 has 6 uh, parts and i am going to cover only 3 of them rest three you will do it by yourself because again i have explained you in the above examples so let's suppose i have line this one and i have line this one so this line is a and p this one is c angles known as 35 and 47 degrees right so what you guys need to do find the bearing of a from p i'm going to write it down a from p so a from p highlight the angle north of p right a from p means that you are looking for this angle now we know that this angle is 90 so it will be 90 minus 35 that will be 55 it must be 3 degrees so it is 055 right now you need to try this question by yourself i will start the next class from the same question right so try it by yourself and question number 1 is your homework i will start the next class from the same question till then take care and all of us